Hello team, happy Sunday. Welcome back to a little bit of a Sunday evening stretch. We are going to be working through full body today. If anyone's got any specific requests, throw them in the chat for me now. I've taken the ones that I've already got. If you are using the playlist today, then bang it on from the beginning for me now. Obviously, I couldn't resist putting some new Adele on the playlist today. Because uh, what is any decent playlist without Adele's new album? We're going to be heading over to those mats and we're going to be starting in a cross-legged position on your mat for me. We're going to have those legs crossed as usual. And we're just going to take a few moments here to settle ourselves before we start today's class. So we're going to put those hands down onto the knees and we're just going to roll the shoulders up and back. So you want to bring them up towards the ears for me, around behind, bring the shoulder blades together and all the way back down. Now this time, as we bring them up, I want you to breathe in. And as we take them back, just really sigh that breath away for me. We're going to work for another five of these in through the nose, out through the mouth. Well done, keep going in through the nose out through the mouth, three more in through the nose, out through the mouth, last two in through the nose, and out through the mouth, and last one for me, in through that nose, bring them up, and out through the mouth, well done, just give those shoulders a shake off for me. We're gonna start off with a little bit of neck mobility today. A few people mentioned that they've been feeling a little bit tight sat at those desks. So we're just gonna take the chin down to the chest for me. And once you're here, we're just gonna take the chin in a clockwise direction. So around to the right hand side. Then as you bring it up and back, allow it to fall backwards up to the ceiling, over to the left hand side and then tuck that chin again as it comes back into where we started. We're gonna go for another two this way. Around to the side. Allow that head to be heavy as it comes back. Around to the side and back to the center again. And last one for me. Keep that breathing nice and steady. Well done guys. And as we come back to the center this time, we're gonna go for three in the opposite direction. So just flow with me back the other way. Exactly the same. Just taking that neck the other way this time. And if you'd like to take today's class really nice and chilled, then do start to bring those eyes to a close for me. Allowing you to just flow where the body wants to go today. And last circle for me, over to that left-hand side. All the way back, over to the right, and down. Once you reach the bottom, we're just gonna take those hands, put them, interlace the fingers, pop them on the back of the head. Take a nice deep breath for me. And on the exhale, just apply a little bit of pressure as we tuck that chin as far as we can. I want you to imagine you've got a brick on each shoulder and they're pushing down towards the floor, pulling the shoulder blades apart from one another and just feeling that nice deep stretch through both shoulders. Holding for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Bringing the neck up, just release those hands for me and give everything a little bit of a shake out again. We're gonna take the right hand down to the floor. The left arm's gonna come up and over as we just start stretching down through the sides and into those oblique muscles as well. Whilst you're here, just with every exhale, see if you wanna push a little bit further into the stretch. So either reaching a little bit further or lowering yourself down a little bit more. If you're happy where you are, then that is absolutely fine. As always, it's about listening to that body and finding where is best for you for today. 
Well done. Holding here for another five. Nice team. Well done, Emily. Four. Nice, Chloe. Three. Lovely, Sam. Two. And one. Bring yourself back to centre. Take the left arm down and we're going over with the right arm across the other side. Well done. Don't worry if you're on the wrong side. It's fine as long as you're doing different sides last time. You're all good. We've definitely all changed sides, so we're good. Again, just focus on that breathing. And remember, throughout today's class, every exhale is an opportunity to just push a little bit deeper if you feel that you'd like to. Holding here for another five, for four, three, for two, and one, bringing yourself back up to center for me. We're just gonna interlace those fingers and we're gonna take them up and overhead, leaning back over to that right hand side. So just a little bit different, this stretch. Sending that stretch a little bit higher than it was last time. You should feel that in the side of the chest and also potentially up into the armpit and arm as well. Another deep breath in and out. Bring it back to center for me. And then just over to the other side. Not keeping in this one for too long, but just a little bit more upper activation. Perfect. Well done, guys. Deep breath in and out and back to the center. Now you guys stay where you are. I'm just gonna turn around so that you can see. We're gonna take the hands behind us, interlink the fingers like so. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together and we're gonna really bring that chest proud, look up to the sky and stretch all across that chest for me. So you should be feeling a really deep stretch all the way from the left shoulder across the chest into the right shoulder. Again, I want you to think you've got a brick on each of those shoulders. So they're pushing down towards the floor and that's just gonna help open that chest up even more. Keeping that breathing nice and slow. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna lower ourselves, hinging at the hips, over those legs, and just bring those arms as high as you can. Stretching through that lower back and keeping that chest stretch as well. If this is uncomfortable for you at any point, then feel free to just come back to our normal chest stretch, that's absolutely fine. Great work guys, not holding for too long, just another three, the two, and one. Keeping yourself lowered, just bring those hands down to the floor for me in front of you. Slowly bring yourself up into a kneeling position, bring the feet together, knees out wide, and we're just gonna sit back into our child's pose. Now, once you're in your child's pose, I just want you to think about spreading the fingers on those hands as wide as you can and really pushing those hands into the floor. We know the aim here is to sit back that bum onto our heels as much as we can, but it's also to activate and stretch through that back. And by pushing into that floor, that's going to help us to turn on those muscles. Now, if at any point in today's class you feel like you need to recenter or any stretch gets a little bit too difficult for you, then I'm gonna ask you to come back to this position. So just try and remember how you feel now. And remember that this position will always be here for you throughout the next half an hour. Well done guys, closing those eyes down. Another five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing the weight forward. So we're gonna take ourselves slowly up 
to a high plank position. So bring yourself onto the hands, then tuck the toes and just lift the legs for me. Then we're going to lower the chest down to the floor. So bring the body down to the floor, keeping the hands either side of you, pushing up into our upward dog. Now we're going to start off with a narrow upward dog. So I want you to make sure that your legs are within the remit of your mat, no wider. They're within the mat, looking up to the ceiling. Just want you to think first off, are those glutes tensed? If they are, just try and release them off. It's quite an easy thing to do in this stretch. And we should be feeling this through the core. So from kind of the lower area of the abdomen all the way up to the lower area of those ribs. And when you're ready, we're just gonna take a look over the left shoulder and then the right shoulder. Don't worry if you hear a few clicks and apologies if you hear my back clicking at any point. <laughs> slowly working through and tucking the toes. We're going to send that bum up to the sky as we push ourselves into our first downward dog of today's session. Now remember for our initial downward dogs we might find it more comfortable if we're pedaling through those feet rather than keeping it static. That's absolutely fine. Work where you need to work today. Try and ignore the person next to you on the screen and just tune in to where you need to take the stretch. If you can lower the heels all the way to the floor, then please do. That's really gonna help push the stretch all the way through the backs of those hamstrings and into those calves as well. If you need to pedal, just keep it going for me. Well done. Great work, guys. We're going to bring the body slowly back to that high plank position. When you're ready, no rush. And once again, we're going to lower that chest down to the floor. Now, before we push up this time, I just want you to take your feet. So each one is wider than the width of your mat. So underneath the bottom of your feet, you should now feel the floor. Pushing up through the hands and into our upward dog. Now, this time, this upward dog should focus more on stretching through our hip area. So you shouldn't feel it as high up. You should be feeling this more down in the pelvis because we've widened that leg position. And we're going to do exactly the same here, looking up to the ceiling to start with. Check that that bum isn't tensed. And then just working into our looks over those shoulders. We're just going to go for two each side at your own pace. Amazing guys, well done. And last one. Stab tucking those toes for me again. It's back up into that downward dog. Again, pedaling through those legs if you need. If not, digging those heels down to the floor and embracing that solid stretch through those calves. We're gonna add two more stretches into this little cycle, and then we're gonna be repeating through the cycle. So we're gonna to start to work into those hips next. I now had a few requests for hips. So after this downward dog, we're gonna be moving into that area. Well done guys, holding for another five, for four, three, two, and one, we're gonna step that left foot to the outside of the left hand, a little bit like a Spider-Man lunge, if you've had one of those in your strength sessions. Untuck the back leg and bring yourself up to a half kneel. Perfect. From here, we're just gonna work into this hip joint a little bit first. But making it a little bit more mobile is gonna help us get the most out of the stretch. So all we're gonna do is just gradually lean forwards into the hip and backwards. Now you can add in some circular motions using the hands if you'd like to. Just work into the hip however you feel you need to. And if it gets too much on that back knee at any point, if you're on a harder floor, feel free to just slide a cushion underneath that back knee so that it doesn't get too sore. She says, I'm absolutely gonna do that. I've forgotten how hard this floor is. There we go, that's better. Well done, guys. 
coming back up to center. We're just gonna heel toe that foot over to the right hand side of the mat. And then we're slowly gonna lower ourselves forward as the knee comes down to the left hand side. And we're gonna enter our pigeon stretch. If you had a cushion under that back knee, just pull it out for me and bring it in front of you or pop it out the way. And we're gonna lower ourselves to wherever feels comfortable here. So if being up on the hands is enough for you, that's absolutely fine. If you'd like to come down onto the forearms, then follow through to there. And if you'd like to come all the way down to a resting pigeon, then please feel free to. You should be feeling this one all the way from the center of the glute down the outside and into the IT band, but then also you might feel it in the inner thigh muscle as well. And you may feel it in the back leg in the groin area also. Now a key thing about our pigeon stretch is that we want to keep breathing throughout. We're gonna be staying here for 90 seconds. It's gonna be one of our deepest stretches that we work through today. So I want you to close those eyes down. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose for me. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And on your next exhale, I want you to release any tension you can feel in those glute or hip joints. So I want you to really breathe out any tension that you can feel. Just keep that nice flowing breath going in and out. If at any point you feel ready to go lower into the stretch, then please feel free to move yourself down onto those forearms or onto a fully resting pigeon. If at any point you feel it's getting a little bit too much, just lift yourself up to the stage before before resetting to where you were. Well done, guys. Holding here. Keep that breathing going. Great work. Holding for another 10. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Wherever you are, just carefully bring yourself back up onto those hands. Tucking that back toe, you're just gonna slowly bring yourself back up to that half kneel and bring that foot back across to the left hand side for me. If you were using a pillow under the back knee before, then just slide it back in. We're gonna be turning to the right hand side, taking a hold of the right foot and bring it in towards the glute as we start to stretch through that quad at the front whoop, of the leg. Lily says she's got very tight quads today. There we go. If you need to grab a band to help you loop the foot, then please feel free to use a band as your lever. And if you've got the foot into the glute, but you're not feeling the stretch, then just put a little bend into that front leg for me. And that's gonna help push that stretch up through the front of that quad. Amazing, well done guys. I'm just gonna be holding this one for about 30 seconds. Focusing on that breathing still. Well done, Chloe. Nice, Sam, good work. If you need any support at any point, feel free to use one hand on the wall if you need. And for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower that back leg down for me. Bring the left knee now back to join the right. Switch your cushion over to that side if you were using one. And I'm gonna get you to step that right foot out nice and wide on the mat. We're just gonna work through exactly the same. So we're gonna start moving into that hip joint, just mobilizing through that hip however you need. 
Well done, guys. And then we're going to be working through exactly the same stretches on this side as well. So when you feel ready, starting to heel toe that foot over to the left hand side of the mat this time. Once you reach there, just slowly lowering yourself down and that knee over to the right. If you were using a cushion, just pull it out and into your pigeon on this side. Now make a mental note, whether it feels a little bit tighter or looser on this side for me, just something to bear in mind for your stretching over the coming days to focus a little bit more where you feel it might be a bit tighter. Find your comfortable pigeon position for me, whether that's on the forearms, fully resting or up on the hands. And once again, focusing on that breathing, we're gonna stay here for a full 90 seconds. Making sure that on every exhale, we release any tension that we can feel building through the body. Nice, Emily, well done. If we're in a stretched position and we can feel that we're holding tension, then that's not gonna help release that muscle. So it's really important that we're breathing anything we feel out and trying to release it from the body. Amazing work, guys. If you feel ready to, I just want you to take this opportunity to lower your pigeon to the next stage for the final few moments. If you need to come up and reset, that's absolutely fine. Nice deep breath in and out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Holding for another 10. For five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly and carefully bring yourself up onto those hands and then bringing yourself back up to your half kneel position. So we should have the right leg in front, left leg behind. Adding in that cushion if you were using it. And then we're gonna be bringing ourselves round to the left, taking a hold of the left leg and bring it in towards that bum. Again, feeling that stretch all the way from the front of the pelvis down that quad. And if you'd like to feel a little bit more of a stretch or you can't quite feel it, remember, it's just a little bend into that front leg that we need to increase it. Looking great, guys. Everyone's looking at me like, ouch. Not seeing many smiles this week. I think we're all a bit tight. <laughs> Remember, if you need any additional balance, just use one hand on a nearby wall and that should help you with that stability equally. If you do fall over, no one cares. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> well done, guys. Last opportunity to bend a little bit further into it. For five, four, for three, two, and one, lowering that back leg down for me. Bring yourself onto a kneeling position on those heels. And we're just gonna take a moment to have a reset before we move through that cycle again. Grab yourself a water, pop your cushion out the way for the first little bit. And when you're ready to go again, we're just gonna be bringing ourselves into that downward dog. So bring yourself to all fours tuck the toes and that bum goes back up to the sky into our downward dog. You should feel hopefully that those hamstrings and calves are a little less tight than they were. Feel free to continue walking through if you need. We're not gonna be in these for too long. We're gonna focus on our other stretches in the flow. So slowly bring yourself forwards to that high plank position once more, lowering the chest to the floor. We're keeping those legs inside the mat as we push up into our core-based upward dog. 
Remember, releasing any tension from that bum and lower back before we move into two shoulder rotations on each side. Great work, guys. If you can hear next door's dog barking, I'm really sorry. I'm really hoping you can't. Next door, I've got an adorable little puppy. It's like two weeks old, but oh my gosh, it knows how to yap. Well done, guys. Tucking those toes, sending the bum up to the sky and back into our downward dog. Pedaling through those feet or sending the heels fully down to the floor and feeling the stretch a little bit deeper in those calves, whichever one feels right for you today. Nice, Chloe. Well done. Looking good, Emily. Good work. And when you're ready, we're moving through to that high plank position again. Lowering the chest to the floor. And this time we're taking those legs to the wider width. So we're on the outside of the mat, pushing up into our upward dog and feeling it through that pelvic area. And then moving into our looks over those shoulders to just help stretch out through that back a little bit more. You don't think you're tight and then you do, do this and you're like, oh, yes, I have been sat at a chair all week. Well done, guys. Perfect. Back to center, tucking those toes and up to our downward dog one last time for today's class. When you're ready, we're going to step that left foot to the outside of the left hand, bringing ourselves to that half kneel again. Now we've already worked through mobilizing that hip joint, so we're going to move straight into our pigeon. So heel toe that foot over to the right hand side. And when you're ready, slowly lowering yourself down as the knee comes down to the left and we come into our pigeon. Now, hopefully you should be feeling a little less tight this time. So when you're ready, lowering into whichever position is best for you, whether that's forearms or fully resting. And we're gonna be here for a little shorter this time, but I still want you to think about the same principles. Every inhale, we think about the things we want to expel during that exhale and breathe them away. Remember, you're the only person that can hear that breathing, unless you're Emily and Mark, then you can hear each other. <laughs> but no one's judging you. So feel free to sigh it out as loud as you like. Amazing, guys. Well done. Final few seconds. So if you'd like to go any deeper, now's your opportunity to take it down to that lower level. And for five, for four, for three, two, and one. Slowly bringing yourself back up. We're gonna tuck that back toe and we're bringing it to that half kneel once again. Perfect. Grabbing your cushion if you need it and sliding it under that back knee. We're going to move into our quad stretch once more. So bringing the foot into the glute. And this time you probably will need a little bit of a bend through that front leg to help feel that stretch. If, you, if you're not feeling it, just go for a little bend. And remember, you can support yourself wherever you need. If it gets too much at any point, just lower back out of the bend and then take another deep breath out as you come back in. Perfect. Looking good, guys. Not if your quad feels tight. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> well done. Holding for another five. For four, for three, two, 
and one drop that back leg for me nice and carefully bring that cushion out from underneath and we're just going to take the left leg back to meet the right and step the right leg out to the side once again we're not going to work through that hip mobility so just heel toe that right foot over to the left hand side of the mat and slowly lower that knee down to the right as we move into our pigeon on this side either up on those hands down on those forearms or a fully resting pigeon even in fact if you want to just pop your cushion under you can have a proper nap down here it's great well done guys again we're not going to be holding quite as long this time but thinking about all those key principles still of our deep inhales and exhales in through the nose out through the mouth well done looking good chloe if you'd like to take it a little bit deeper then using this opportunity here to lower down to the next stage Well done guys for another five, for four, three, two, and one. Slowly tucking that back toe and pushing yourself back to your half kneel. The cushion comes back under the left knee this time if you're using one. Turning to the left, taking a hold of that foot once more and coming into our final quad stretch so just a sl slight bend if you need it remember that supporting hand can either be on the foot she says i'm going to fall over if i do that on the foot as well or on a wall or chair nearby just keep breathing in and out in and out well done guys Bending in a little bit further for this last bit, if you'd like to, for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lowering that leg back. Bring that other leg back to meet it for me. Take the cushion out, taking the knees wider. We're just going to sit ourselves down into a child's pose once more. Taking this opportunity as well, if you'd like have a little sip of water and a reset before we move into the final stages of today's class. Remember while we're in this child's pose we're focusing on stretching those fingers as wide as we can and pushing that floor away from us. That bum is sitting as far onto those heels as we can. Amazing, guys. For five, four, three, two, and one. I just want you to bring yourself forwards and slowly you're going to bring yourself down onto your side, grab your cushion, and then flip on over. We're turning onto our backs for the last bit of today's class. This is a bit where if you fall asleep, it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're gonna start off with those feet flat to the floor and a bend in the knees. And all we're gonna do is bring the feet together and allow the knees to flop out towards the side. So we're just letting the inside of those legs have a little bit of a stretch and counteracting through the lower back any tightness we might have caused in those last couple of stretches as well. If you do want to add any more pressure, then you can take your hands and pop them just above the knee on the inside of the thigh and just lightly push them a little bit further down towards the floor. But if you're happy where you are, that's absolutely fine. 
Well done, team. Perfect. When you're ready, we're going to bring those legs back together. And we're just going to take the knees, bring them in towards that chest, wrap the arms around them and give ourselves a nice big squeeze. Slowly rocking from right a little bit to left. And just massaging, if you fall over like I've just done, laugh at yourself, it's fine. Massaging through that back for me. And then when you come back to center this time, I want you to lower the right leg to the floor, but keep the left leg held in towards the chest for me. So the right leg should be down on the floor. Left leg stays in on the chest. Perfect. We're going to take the left arm out to the side, or you can have it bent if you haven't got enough room. Then we're going to move the right hand so it's on the outside of the left knee. Turn so that your gaze is over to the left. And then we're going to pull ourselves over into a nice spinal rotation towards the side. Yes, that was my back. Sorry if you heard that. <laughs> Hopefully everyone else did it as well. You might feel this a little bit across the chest area as well. Perfect. Holding for five. For four, three, two, and one. As you come back to your back, I want you to bring the right foot so it's bent underneath and you scoop that left leg onto the thigh, bringing yourself to our figure of four position. And then we're gonna lean through that gap, take a hold of the back of the hamstring and just slowly bring that leg in towards us as we move into our figure of four glute stretch. If you could go a little bit further with this one, then move the hands so that they're on the shin rather than the hamstring. Or you can use your left hand to add a little bit of pressure on the left leg and push that leg away from you to help increase that stretch. Nice deep breathing for me. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Well done, guys. Carry on holding this one for me. And on your next exhale, I just want you to see if you can bring it in any closer. And in five. Four, three, two, and one. That left leg goes down to the floor this time and the right leg comes into that chest for me. Perfect. Give it a little squeeze. And then we're gonna take the right arm out to the side. Hand on the left arm comes to the outside of the right knee. Gaze goes to the right and we're gonna rotate over into that spinal twist, but this way. Well done. Every time I get asked, what's your favorite stretch? This is my favorite stretch. <laughs> well done, guys. Just holding for another five, for four, for three, two, and one, bringing the left foot to the floor, scooping that right leg on the way into our figure of four, leaning through the gap and taking our hold of the back of the right hamstring and coming into our figure of four glute stretch on the right leg this time. Remember, if you want it a little bit deeper, you can hold onto that shin rather than the hamstring, depending on what you need today. Just gonna hold here for 10. For five, four, three, two, and one. Letting go of both legs for me, taking both legs down to the floor. If your eyes aren't already closed, I want you to take this opportunity 
to close them down, bringing one hand to the belly and one hand to the chest. I'm just gonna take a few moments here to ourselves. There's very few opportunities for us to take time for ourselves. And whilst we've got this time scheduled out, I'm just gonna have a few moments thinking about absolutely nothing. If you do want something to focus on, then focus on the relationship between that lower hand on your stomach and that upper hand on your chest and how the energy passes between them as you breathe in and out. I'm just gonna leave you here for a minute or so and I'll come back when it's time to finish. Now, if you'd like to spend a little bit more time here, then please feel free to just turn your volume off and take some more time for yourself. For those of you who are ready to finish today's class, just start to wiggle those fingers and toes for me. Gently bring yourself into a little fetus position on one side, keeping those eyes closed for me as you do so. Then using both hands and keeping the eyes closed, just push yourself up and bring yourself to a cross-legged position. Ideally crossing the legs the opposite way to the way that you normally would. Taking the hands onto the knees, we're just gonna breathe in as we bring those shoulders up to the ears and out as we sigh away. Bringing the hands to cover the eyes slowly blinking the eyes back open and carefully releasing the hands as we let the light back in. Well done guys, I'm coming on over. I'll bring my cushion as well. Bring my water, bring my cushion. Coming. Hello, hello. How's everyone feeling? Are we feeling very zen? I feel like it's nap time. Excellent. Bad news, I have to go to the gym now. I've really not timed that well. <laughs> Don't know why. Not timed that one well at all. Well done, team. It was lovely to see you this evening and join you all for a little bit of a stretch. Now, I don't think we've got any of them here, but they will be doing it on demand. So for anyone who raced today, actually, Mark's here. What am I on about? Mark's here. We've got Mark. Mark raced today. Well done, Mark. Um, and for everyone else who's joining on demand, well done. For those of us who didn't race today, don't worry, you're just as amazing anyway, because you all went out and smashed your sessions. That's all that matters. <laughs> well done, guys. Next week, I actually won't be here as I will be away, which I haven't told you yet, on holiday. Lily's taking a weekend to herself. How delightful. Lovely Emma will be taking your stretch and reset next weekend for yoga while I'm having a little bit of time off. So M will be here next weekend and we'll send over all the details as usual. If you wanna do this session again at all in the week, it will be uploaded this evening onto True Coach so that you can work through it whenever you like. Remember to stay nice and hydrated, have a good night's rest and I will chat to you all probably tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs>